The Akwaibom State Police Command, under the leadership of CP Zaki Ahmed, received a report from one Samuel Ekerem Nam of Ikot Udoma Road in Eket local government area that his wife, one Gloria Samuel Ekerenam, 44 years old, of same address, was abducted to unknown destination and a ransom of 20 million naira demanded. The commissioner of police, who was miffed at the development, mobilized and directed his officers and men to ensure that the victims was rescued and hurt. The command had since then worked tirelessly to achieve the said goal. The pressure mounted while the command and her allies yielded positive results as men of the IGP Special Tactical Squad in a coordinated operation with Area Commander Eckert and other support teams of the command successfully rescued the victim from the den of her abductors on the 30th of October and hurt in Insit Ubium, local government area of Aquabum State. During the rescue operation, six of the hoodlums who investigations revealed are responsible for kidnapping in Eket and Environs met their Waterloo while exchanging gunfire with the police. Two locally made revolver pistols, six live ammunition and one expended were recovered. Uh, the reason why we had to demolish the building behind me is because it was a kidnapper's den. Uh, right at this building behind me here, we had uh, Mrs. Grace somewhere. She was kidnapped on the 17th of October and then she was kept here in very deplorable uh, circumstances. But thank God for the Nigeria Police Aquaibom State Command, ably led by the IGP Special Tactical Team. They were able to, working in conjunction with the area commander and uh, with intelligence from um, our friends, our partners, the good people of Aquaibom State, and uh, Eckhead Local Government Chairman, and every other person who have been very sympathetic to this cause. The IGP Special Tactical Team were able to identify this place where the victim was kept and they were able to uh, had a gun dwell with uh, uh, the people involved and uh, by the grace of God some of them uh, 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 were able to be taken down as I speak but uh, successfully Mrs. Glory Samuel had been rescued and uh, as I speak she's receiving treatment that is why this building was demolished this will serve as a deterrent to every other person who had the intention of embarking in things like this kidnapping does not pay crime does not pay in any way and that is why this is meant to show that whoever is involved in things like this has the long arm of the law that is going to catch up with him on that fateful day, it was on a Thursday. That was two weeks ago. Probably about 17, on the 17th of October. When I returned back from church, as I was driving into my compound, I didn't notice anything. I looked very well. I didn't see anybody. But I drove him. I stopped my car. Then I came down from the car, only for my security man to say, hey, when I looked back, I saw men running towards me. And then one pointed me, a shot locally made gun. And then he now held my, my scalp and bent my head like this, took me to my boot, to throw me inside. So he tried to open the other side of my door. The door did not open. Then it was only one door that opened, and they turned it. And then they tie my mouth, they tie my hand, they tie my legs, and they kept me there. I really want to uh, appreciate the um, the IG tactical team of the Nigerian Police Force. Uh, for rescuing my wife because the mission looked as if it's going to be impossible. But as God see it and with all the prayers of the saints and the faithfuls, God used them to rescue my wife.